What is going on guys, Tazwafa here, and welcome back to some more Terraria. It's still nighttime right now, and uh, oh gosh, there's a demon eye I think that's called? Oh god. Get in the house! Oh man, I just slapped it right there with a zombie arm. Oh, and by the way, some of you guys were like, freaking out that I have this zombie arm, because apparently it's like a, was it a 5% or is it a point? Oh gosh. Like a 0.5%, it's like real- oh! <laughs> Oh man, Kyle with that amazing aim. It's, it is like a really rare drop and even some uh, Terraria veterans were saying, hey, I've never even gotten one of those before, so that's kind of crazy. Anyways, I also got some comments, a ton of heck of comments, golly, <laughs> with a bunch of tips and stuff like that saying, hey, if you hold shift and hover over anything, it'll, it'll like automatically choose the correct tool. Like if I'm not like hovering over anything, it'll, it'll bring out the torch. If I'm hovering over like grass or ground or whatever, it'll bring out the pickaxe. If I'm Hovering over like a tree will bring out the axe, so that's going to be a really cool tool here in the future. Also, there's like this auto select key or whatever. I don't, I still don't quite know what this is for. I read into it a little bit, but I'm still not quite sure how this works. But you can turn it on with like control or something like that. So there you go. That's kind of cool. I guess it highlights stuff. I also got some comments saying that uh, this this furnace is in the way, so. I wonder if I could just break it. Actually, you know what? Hold up. Yep, yeah, look at that. Hit and shift. Get my furnace back. And uh, let's see. Can I open the door properly now? Because it didn't open from the inside, did it? Oh, there you go. Yeah, okay. It opens that way now. I don't think it was opening that way uh, a moment ago, so that's, that's good. Let's see if we can move the furnace a little bit closer to the... Ah, oh, man, the chest is in the way, though. Let's see. Can I still open it that way, or is it... Yeah, see, it's not it's not opening that direction. Okay, so it is blocking that, but, you know, this episode, I definitely do want to expand my house a bit. I'm like, this is the same size as been ever since episode one, so definitely do want to expand it out for sake of, you know, just having more space, as well as to actually have room for more NPCs, because you guys were saying, hey, you need a, like, what was it, multiple buildings or multiple rooms? I forget the specifics, but uh, if you have more space, then more NPCs like Kyle will come over here and uh, visit and actually live here, so that's going to be really cool. Speaking of such, uh, you guys did say go into his crafting menu, and then the place material here thing right there, that's going to be really helpful for, uh, like if I place a torch there, it'll show me all the stuff I could use the torch for in terms of crafting. Like, look at all this heckin' stuff over here, there's like chandeliers and jack jack <laughs> I'm like, there's just a huge variety of stuff over here, okay? <laughs> Skyware, lantern, Cursed Torch? Ooh, Demon Torch, golly. Yeah, there's just, there's just a ton of stuff in the crap right there. So Kyle's going to be really, really helpful, I, I assume, for the entirety of the series. So definitely want to keep him around here, you guys. Uh, remember last episode, we did find a chest. I did get some comments from you guys saying, hey, if you want to make a chest, you need two iron. And we, we currently have one. I think it was four iron ore that we got to turn into one iron bar. Uh, I don't know if we can actually see it at the furnace. I don't know if we can right now, but... Uh, we're, we're going to have to go mining, at least a short mining trip to get a little bit more iron so we can actually craft another, uh, another chest right there. But, for right now, let's see how much wood we have, though. We have 86 wood right there. Hey, look at that, the money can- Ooh, can I keep him as, like, a pet? Just trap him in my house? <laughs> there you go, keep him in my house as a heckin' pet. Either way, let's get the wood there. There you go. Let's get the wood, let's place it down, and let's try and expand our house out of it, you know, so. Let's see, maybe I'll, uh... Yeah, I can't place anything there, so I guess- Oh! Damn, there's that heckin' slime over there now. Do I need to pick- Okay, I don't need to- Hey, you know what? I could've just hit shift and, uh, there you go. Got my wood platforms back. You guys did say the wood platform- Oh, man! Aw, oh, man! Well, at least I got the Tiki Torch right there. I was about to say, should've picked up the Tiki Torch before I did that. But, uh, yeah, you guys did say if you wanna, like, ascend and descend in from, like, caves and stuff like that, it's gonna be really easy using the wood platforms, so if I wanna save those for cave adventures and stuff like that, maybe I'll fill in this hole over here with a little bit of dirt if I get any. Or maybe if I have any in storage. I think that fish is relatively friendly. I did see some comments saying, hey, you know, slimes. Oh, gosh. Never mind. I accidentally just hit him right there and I had to kill him. I had to defend myself. I didn't want to get killed by a heckin' fish walking on his fins. <laughs> but I did get some comments from you guys saying that the slimes during daytime are neutral slash friendly. So I don't want to heckin' attack them or else, of course, they'll start attacking back at least during the daytime, right? Do we have dirt over here? I can just... Oh, yep. We've got plenty of dirt. So let's do that. Uh, place them down over here. Oh, whoops. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, there it is right there. Fill in this hole over here. And there we go. And, oh wait, hold on. I think this is where this comes to play, right? Uh, maybe. Yeah, I don't know what happened right there. Why can I not fill this in anymore? Oh, there we go. What in the world? Uh, oh. Yeah, see, I could, I could do it just fine now. Very strange. Anyways, let's get rid of that and get rid of that. And there we go. All right, nice. Well, let's see if we can trap the bunny back in our house by closing the door. Boom. 
I wonder if the bunny's able to open up the door or not, but let's, let's expand the house all the way out to here. And we'll just have a bunch of rooms. I was debating, like, whether or not I want to have, like, one giant building with multiple rooms, or if I wanted to have a... Oh, can I not place a block there? I need to break it with the, uh, the pit. There you go. Because it looked like it was kind of, like, slanted, like a half block, basically. Yep, there you go. All right. And you know what? Let's actually have a little bit of room here, so... Maybe from here. There we go. Now, how tall is this over here? I don't know how tall this is. I might want to make it, like, one shorter, though, so maybe I'll get rid of that pick, or, uh, that torch. Then, from here to the left. Because I think, what are we, three tiles tall or something like that? And I think this should be four tiles, so it's going to be just big enough for us. So there you go. And I guess we'll move the door now from here. And that way, uh, we can keep the furnace there and keep that chest there. We could probably move the furnace a little bit later. But, uh, let's actually, oh, hold shift, and then, look at how easy this is. I don't even have to, like, manually switch between the two. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you guys all very much for your tips once again. Because, uh... Oh, there you go. Select the door, and boom. And let's see. The door's going to open just fine. And if I want to go this way, yep. Look at that. It opens just fine. So, let's definitely remember to uh, leave room between the door, like, opening... Oh! Whoops, that was an arrow. <laughs> between the door opening area. So, oh, we only have three wood wall right there, so that sucks. If I want to make some more, so... Uh, there's the crafting table right there, so let's actually make some over here, shall we? But yeah, I definitely want to leave some room so we don't have it, like, stuck or anything like that, right? Uh, here's a wooden table. I did see that I need to make an actual wooden table. So let's make a wooden table while we still have wood in our inventory. And let's make a bunch of wood walls. And also, I did read some comments saying that if I shift-click something, or it, was it shift-click or right-click? I forget. But, uh, say the cactus helmet, if I want to put it on. Okay, it was right-click. If I want to quickly, uh, like, auto-equip it, just right-click it, and there you go. And I think shift-click was the... Yeah, throw it in the trash can right there, so don't want to do that, right? Golly. <laughs> but now let's actually start placing some stuff back here in the background with these, uh, these wall, oh, with these wood wall blocks, so we can actually kind of have a full enclosure over here. And then, oh, and then I guess we'll, uh, move the campfire inside. Uh, although we don't, I don't think it really matters if it's inside or outside, at least we're still benefiting from it. Even all the way over here, we still have the, uh, the little cozy fire icon right there, which is great. But I think we basically just ran out of wood right there, so that sucks. Uh, hmm. You know, I'm gonna break this right there. There we go. Oh, we still have a, uh, piece of wood right there missing, so that sucks. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna have to lower that roof by, like, one. Oh! Flying fish now. Oh, and then, yeah, we're gonna need to place down some torches, too. So, how big do I want a room to be? Maybe I'll place one, like, right here. And this can be the entrance room. Then I'll place a torch right here. And then, uh, I'll open the door. And then place a torch on the outside. There you go. Nice. And, uh, that's going to be the entrance of our area. But, I believe it's technically daytime right now. The, the music isn't super spooky or anything like that. And, let's see. I'm going to hold the zombie arm and then I'm going to shift. Yep. And it auto-selects the axe. Awesome. So that's going to be really, really, really easy if we're, like, mining and then we want to cut down a tree or whatever. I'll have to make... Oh, well, I guess that'll happen as well. Is that it'll auto-equip the torch because it's not hovering over anything. And I'll accidentally place down a torch right there. But, not really that big of a deal. So that's good. Let's just cut that. Look at how big this tree is, too. And yeah, the taller the tree, the longer it takes to cut it down, of course, so that makes sense. But yeah, let's remember, every time we cut down a tree, and we pick up a bunch of acorns, definitely want to replant them, because I guess that tree right there didn't have enough room to actually grow, because that acorn sapling plant thing is still there, so definitely want to leave a little bit of room for these guys to grow once we do replant them back down. But uh, yeah, look at that. Plenty of acorns. Just oh, oh, there they are right there at number zero. So let's see. Plant you... And leave a little bit of room. And there's another one. There's another one. There's another one. And we're doing our due diligence to uh, preserve the environment over here. Especially because we're going to come back here a little bit later as we continue, you know, building and, and progressing throughout the series. You know, to get more wood to continue building our base and making more materials and all that kind of stuff. So definitely do want to replant these down if anything, just so we never run out of wood, right? But let me continue cutting down these trees over here. Oh, and I also got comments saying I could eat those mushrooms and that's supposed to like heal me up or something like that. Or either that or I can use them to make... Actually, yeah, you know what? Let's actually get a mushroom, put it in Kyle's like show crafting recipe little thing. And it should show us what we could use those mushrooms to make, like in terms of healing potions or stews or whatever like that, you know? So there's only one more tree over here. And we remember at the end of last episode, we learned that this is not an ocean over here. So we can actually go from over here to the other side. Apparently there are no boats in Terraria. I saw some comments saying there are no actual boats. So I guess we're just going to walk at the bottom of the sea or build a bridge or something like that, you know, but let's just uh, replant some of the stuff over here. And there's that cute little bunny over here. 
Oh god, that tree grew like instantly. Holy heck. Yeah, don't want to attack the flying fish. It's not attacking me, so I'm not going to attack it. Oh, never mind! Ne <laughs> Why is it attacking me? Is your heckin' dead now, self-defense, Hater? Jeez. But yeah, these trees are growing like instantly, you guys. Oh, it, it might be because it's just turning to nighttime right now. Maybe. What is that down there? I just killed something. I don't know what it was, but yeah, I definitely want to be very, very careful around here. Yeah, let's, uh, there we go. We got that mushroom. There's a slime over there. I don't know if it's going to attack me or what. Oh, well, I stepped on it, so I was probably damaged by that, whereas it, it actually attacked me. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I guess we can actually expand our house this way as well, so I'm going to break this over here. I still don't have a net, so I can't actually get the, uh, the earthworm, unfortunately, but, uh, oh gosh, yeah, we've got plenty of wood. Oh, look at this, it's actually clearing up. I think it's been raining, like, the actual entire heckin' episode thus far, so that's good, it's clearing up for once, sheesh. And, let's place these down over here as part of our new foundation. And, of course, we can get rid of the worm by... How do we do it? Have to be... There! Oh! How did I not one-shot that worm? That's embarrassing. <laughs> Man, I love this music, it's so peaceful. There we go. I got some comments saying to make the music... I think, quieter, but I think, I think it's fine as is. It's not too loud, not too intrusive. If anything, maybe I'll turn down the sound effects. Okay, well, there's a slime. It's not, it shouldn't. It shouldn't hurt me, but it, it can hurt me, so I'm going to defend myself again. Anyways, yeah, let's, let's see. Maybe I'll turn down the sound effects ever so slightly. 50%. I'm going to turn that down, like, maybe 40. There you go. Just because I, I don't want to, like, beat on these heckin' rocks and all that kind of stuff, and it's still heckin' loud, so. Anyways, let's continue expanding our house out extremely. Actually, hold on. Let's see if we can make a door. Can we make a door? Can I use the crafting table from over here? There's the wood armor and all that kind of stuff, and there's a door. Perfect. All right. I don't know if I actually use a. D can I use a door without a? Uh... Okay, so I can't actually place that. Oh, I guess I can just throw it like that. Okay, <laughs> but I can't actually place a door. How do I do this? I don't know if I could actually have a floating. Okay, yeah, I can have a floating piece of wood right there, so that's good. Grab the door, and where'd it go? Oh, there it is right there. Place it down right here. But yeah, we can't have a door just standing on its own, so that sucks. Either way, let's continue building over here. And the ceiling goes from here, yes. And then we're going to have to lower that ceiling. And with all the extra excess wood we have, we're going to have to turn those into... Uh, let's knock down this wall as well. That way Kyle can come out here. Oh, if anything, I could have just kept the wall and then just made it a room, like a separate room, you know? But whatever, not that big of a deal. Anyways, yeah, let's, let's turn these into wood walls now and actually start filling in the background. Hold on, am I too far away or...? Let's see, wood walls. Where are they? Oh, there they are right there. Perfect. Let's make a bunch of those. So, eh, let's get like a hundred and... Man, I still have like 300 heckin' raw wood. So there you go. Here's like 228. That should be more than enough to at least fill in this over here as well as that on the left side as well. So let's fill these in over here. And then let's, let's worry about separating the rooms a little bit later. Because right now we're just expanding the house out. And we're, we're, I think right now we have plenty of room for potentially more NPCs and all that kind of stuff. But I think they might need like their own separate like enclosed rooms or something like that for that to work properly. I'm not 100,000% sure. Either way, open up the door. Break that piece of wood that's... In the, oh wait, hold on. Oh yeah, I need the hammer for that, don't I? So let's use the hammer. I don't know if I could actually equip some... Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Oh my god, this heckin' slime is attacking me. I'm getting... There we go, killed it with a pickaxe. Let's hold shift. Now you got... Okay, so that's just, it's still just trying to place out a torch right there, so. Hmm. Yeah, I think I need to use the hammer for that, so. Uh, let's put that right there on number seven. Let's see how this works. I've never used a hammer yet. Oh, yep, yep. So that is how you break it in the background, so that's good that we're testing that out right there, you know? But, uh, do you place down the torches? Like so. Oh, how do I place that up there? Oh, there, yep, there you go. Perfect. And how are we going to continue separating these out? That should be good. That's another room. There's another room. And then, uh, maybe like right here, we could actually keep this as a, like this, but of course lower that roof down. Actually, you know what? I might keep that roof like that. Actually, it looks kind of unique like that, you know? Then, uh, maybe I'll split this into two different parts. So there you go. And let's hit shift. Open up the, oh, whoops. That damaged it a little bit right there. Yeah, maybe I'll just manually select the other uh, torch there. <laughs> so I don't accidentally damage my own egg and house. But, uh. Oh yeah, let's talk to Kyle here in just a moment. Oh, I also want to see how you make those standing torches. I wanted to make more of those, but uh, of course we don't need to... Oh, there you go. We don't need to worry about that too much, because uh, we're already expanding the heckin' area out here, so... I could actually place torches just straight up, no problem. I don't need them to be uh, standing torches, so... There you go. This is actually uh, pretty well lit up over here, which is great. So there you go. And let's place another one over here. 
I think just one more outside and we'll be good. Maybe I'll move the uh, campfire inside. Although I do like how it's up there. I don't know if we actually need it to... to craft anything, because... Like, the craft and table bench thing over here, I just need to be nearby it and it works just fine, so... Anyway, speaking of such, let's destroy it. There you go. Actually put a proper table. Oh gosh, yeah, that's a lot taller. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'll keep the workbench in there. I'll put this table and chair thing in like a separate... Uh, do I want to make them... Like, have doors between each thing? That might get annoying. I might need to. For it to like count as like separate things, you know? So, yeah, I guess I'll have to think about that, you guys. Uh, maybe like right here. Yeah, this this looks good. So let's get uh, let's actually make another. Can I make another chair? I need to get. Oh yeah, I don't I don't, I don't even have like a workbench. So, oh jeez, Kyle's outside killing the slime. Great job, Kyle. Anyways, I guess we'll leave some room right there for another chest. So that's going to be great. But uh, for right now, let's actually make. Where was it? I don't know if I'm able to make a chair. Hold on. Oh yep, here we go. Here we go. Oh whoa, past it right there. Well, I guess we can get some fences and keep the the zombies out. So let's actually get this chair and put it over here. There you go. I don't know if we need two chairs or whatever, but there you go. Let's talk to Kyle. So crafting. What did I want to ask him earlier about crafting? I don't remember. Oh yeah, the mushroom. Yeah. Put a mushroom there. And it's showing us a bunch of uh, lesser healing potion. Restores 50 life. I need bottled water, a day bloom, and a mushroom. Okay. Well, the mushroom on its own restores 15 life, which is great. I also got a comment saying I could press H on my keyboard and it'll automatically eat a, uh, a healing thing, so that seems good. I don't know if it'll auto-heal or auto-consume like a mushroom or whatever, but if that's the case, I might as well keep some mushrooms in my inventory, so uh, I know... Yep, we have three, so maybe I'll keep those on, like, six. That seems good. Let's put that there. I, I don't think I need to break the background quite as often as uh, other stuff, so... Now let's, let's put... Uh, oh, hold on. Oh, there you go. Okay, so that automatically put it in the chest right there, shift-clicking it right there. Automatically stacked up with the acorns we are have, so that's great. Put up the extra wood, I suppose, so we'll put that up over there. We have some dirt, so let's put that there. And wood walls, let's put that over here, so that should be good. Oh, and then wood platforms. Although those might be pretty handy here in the future if I uh, go mining, which I definitely do want to do here in just a bit, you guys. Because, of course, I want to get more materials, and uh, therefore... Oh, and also in the caves... Oh, what is that green one? I guess it's just a different color. Demon Eye, they're both 60 health. Okay. Also, you guys said I could make a bed. But it'll set my spawn, which I'm like right next to spawn anyway, so it's not too big of a deal, but I may still do it. But you guys did say I can make a bed, so maybe I'll do that. Just because why not? But let's see if we can get these demon eyes in here and kill them. Get over here, garbage. We're doing 12 damage to them, which is great, because I think that's the full amount of damage from the zombie arm. Oh, there's like a squirrel in that cave. Ooh. Get him, Kyle. Get him. I'm killing him. I'm stabbing him. I'm slapping him in the eye. Poking him in the eye. Got him. Nice. Oh, we got another lens. Yeah, apparently that lens is the... Oh, there's even a... Something up here. There you go, gel and copper, nice. Zombie knocking on my door over there. Yeah, I definitely want to go light up the area if possible. Is it still uh, dark over there? It is. Okay, so yeah, I guess we'll light this up over here. Let's kill this female zombie. Oh, two of them stacked on top of each other. I've defeated the 50th zombie. Awesome. Whoa. <laughs> Man, I'm getting like random achievements over here for doing nothing. And there you go. Literally saying I'm doing nothing as I just heck, killed another zombie, right? Jeez. But, uh, let's place down some torches over here. I'm not sure if this is, you know, just like that other game where you place down torches and zombies stop spawning and stuff. But, but at least it's going to be either worth a try or at least light up the area and make it look a little bit prettier at nighttime so it's not pitch and black all the time, right? Eesh. But, uh, place down torches over here. I think we'll be pretty well set. Now let's figure out where we're going to dig to potentially find a cave. Do I want to do it right here? Because you, you guys did say, hey, you can dig straight down, like nothing's heck stopping you. What are you, what are you doing, hater? So maybe, maybe right here seems like a good spot. It's like right outside our door. Oh god, there's a zombie right there, though. We've got a lot of torches, 77 right now. I say that's a good number. We've got to kill that zombie, aren't we? Get him. Slap him. Bah. Watcha. Bah. Bah. And you're dead. Re-dead, undead, whatever it is. I don't know, because this is a heckin' zombie, right? Oh god, that zombie's gonna come down here, though. Need to watch out. Ooh, maybe I could actually put a, uh, a door over here, because it seems like that stops them. Maybe I could put a door at my cave entrance, you know? But either way, let's uh, continue digging uh, over here, and I suppose what we can do is place a rope up here at number seven. Put that right there. And then let's just dig straight down, and then if we want to get... Oh, wait. Yeah, we're like two uh, tiles wide, aren't we? Yeah. So we did dig like this. Then we could actually climb that rope back up. And this is just going to be our mine shaft, I guess, huh? So let's actually continue the rope that I was talking about. So let's uh, connect it up and... Boom, look at that. 
Oh, yep, there you go. So that works out pretty well right there, you guys. Nice. Oh, go! Get him! Get him, Kyle! Get him, Kyle! Wait, how did that zombie even get- Did Kyle open up the door and heck and let him inside or something like that? What are you doing, Kyle? Gee, ooh, quick shackle. What, what? Is that, uh... Oh, I have precise shackle. One defense. Oh, and by the way, you guys did say if I have, a. Uh, yeah, I'd probably want to go to the uh, desert again to get matching armor. You guys did say if I had matching armor. Oh, warding shackle. Plus four defense. You guys said if I had uh, matching armor. Oh, can I not have... Hold on. Wait, what? Do I not have enough inventory spaces or whatever? Do I not have those unlocked or something? I don't know, but I have eight defense right now, which is great. What's this one again? 5% uh, increased movement speed. I'm a little bit faster with that one, but it might be worth it to have... Let's see... Quick shackle. Oh, that's actually like the same. Yeah, 4% movement speed, 5% movement speed. This one also gives uh, one defense, so. You know what? I'm gonna do this one. Quick shackle. So, one defense and plus 4% movement speed. That seems pretty good. Oh, wait, what in the world? I can't. Oh, you can actually turn off whether or not you can see it right there. I don't know why I can't uh, equip this. Oh, wait, whoops. I don't know why I can't uh, equip this. Seems like I could only have one. Sh oh, because, yeah, this one goes on the arms. That makes sense. Which one's the four? Is that mine wearing it? Uh, yeah, plus four defense, that's good. Yeah, that one goes on the arms, I assume this one goes on the head, and I assume you could only have one piece of, uh, thing on one part of your body at one time, right? So that, that's probably why that's limiting me then, huh? I, I assume. I don't know if that's actually the case, but I assume that's why, uh... Oh, there- is the front door open or something? It is! Who left it? I probably left it open, to be quite honest, golly, I'm making stupid. <laughs> And there you go. Yeah, we've got a zombie eye inside of our brand new expanded house. And we definitely want to find some more iron so we can actually maybe, maybe like a, make a whole storage. Oh, got it. I thought that was dead right there. Please. Maybe like make a whole storage uh, room over here. That'd be really cool. Very convenient. Make sure we close the door behind us. Let's uh, use our bow. Gone. Got him. I'm just trying to get some target practice. There we go. Got him. Perfect. All right, let's go down now with our uh, new rope and our, our digging that we're doing over here. And let's see if we can find any iron or... Maybe like some sort of cave system or something like that, you know? So that'd be really cool. Maybe uh, place down occasionally. Place down some torches over here. Oh! Ooh, I see something over there. That might be the zombies that we've been hearing. In the oh, yep, yep, look at that to the left. No, that's an eye. That's a zombie eye. Hold on, let's take it this way. Oh, yep, look at that. Yep, that's, that's looking a lot clearer. We can see that there is some sort of cave system under our house. I've been hearing it this whole time. Past three episodes. There's a zombie, there's a zombie eye, or a demon eye right there. And of course, as we're opening it up, it's starting to get brighter as the light's able to actually get in there, so that's good. Let's see if we can get the zon or a demon eye over here. It is a flying sort of thing, so it's just kind of bouncing all over the place. I have no real control over it. <laughs> Let's break that now. And, uh, oh, 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 is it get- Oh, you know what, you know what, bow and arrow time. Oh god, why does it get the bow and arrow? It comes in the melee range. <laughs> there you go. Come on. A few more hits. One more, and it's down. Perfect. Ooh, whoa! Oh, copper right there. Left like a weird shiny trail behind it. Uh, let's use dirt, because we have a lot more of it than the, uh, the, the stone, so let's do this. And... I guess we can place a torch. There we go. Now, what is that in the background? I know in Starbound there were... Uh, ores that could spawn in the background, so I might need... Yes, I need the hammer for that, so... Oh god, a zombie fell down here! Are you kidding me? Oh my god... Oh wait, hold on. If I hit the... Shift... Yeah, that still breaks brings up the torch, though, so I'm going to have to get the hammer. Ah, oh, man, we're running out of... Eh, I'm not using the campfire right now. I'm still benefiting from our uh, campfire above ground, so that's good. Let's get the hammer on number eight. Let's break the background. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, I can't break the background here. Hold on. What in the world? Another zombie! You kidding me? What is Kyle doing? He should be upstairs killing these guys and just kind of keeping my area nice and protected and stuff. Yeah, I guess I can't break the background there, so that's not, that kind of sucks. Either way, there's a zombie over there, so let's try to forget about him at least for right now. Let's place down a torch. Let's see what we have over here, though. Maybe we'll just light the area up in general. And yep, yep, this is right under our house. This is where these guys have been this whole time. This guy, this zombie has like an exposed brain. I only just noticed that. Like, the top of his head is gone. You can just see his brain. It's disgusting. <laughs> and what, oh, there's a fall right there. Don't want to take a big fall. Uh, continue placing torches over here. <gasps> Ooh, we have a little uh, clay pot right there. Maybe we can go this way. Not to dig. Oh, I even got one. <gasps> another chest! Awesome! And another clay pot. Cool stuff. Oh, yeah, let's go get this one over here real quick before I forget about it. And then we'll go get the chest and the other clay pot over there. So, yeah. Oh, was that just che or, uh, torches? Yep, we got five torches right there. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, daytime music. And this is a dead end. Awesome! Now, let's see what's inside this pot. 
Oh, 11 shurikens, nice. Let's inside the chest. Ooh, 17 bottles. A builder potion, increases placement speed and range for 15 minutes. Recall potion, teleports you home. Ooh, so I don't have, does it, is my current house a home? It doesn't have a bed. I don't know if that constitutes as a, as a home. Climbing claws, equipable material, allows the ability to slide down walls, improved ability if combined with shoe spikes. How does that work? So I already have something on my hands. Can I, uh, oh, whoops. Oh, oh, I don't have, uh, that must be on my wrists slash ankle, maybe? So this is on my, so how's that work? Slide down walls. So instead of falling down walls, I'll slide down them, I think, right? Kind of want to test that real quick, you guys. So how's this work? Oh, you can actually see my claws, too. Look at that. <laughs> I love that. So how's this work? Oh, and by the way, you guys said uh, to hold space bar and I'll jump higher than uh, just you know, tapping spacebar like this. So yeah, jumping a little bit higher there. And if we uh, equip it. Mm, I might need to... Oh wait, hold on. Maybe it's... Instead of the background, maybe it needs to be... How would I... Oh wait, hold on. <gasps> Was I like climbing up that like with ease? Uh, no, I still have to jump right there, but... Maybe like right here. If I fall down. Then... Oh, yep. Yeah, that's cool. So I can slide down the wall like that. Awesome. Cool stuff. Man, I'm liking this already. Like these cool little like pieces of gear that we're picking up here and there, you know? I'm liking it. Let's continue mining. Let's continue spelunking over here. See if we can find any more iron, because we need like four more iron actual ore, I think, was it? To make another chest. Even though we just picked up another... Oh, wait. Did we actually... Yep. Okay, we picked up the chest. I know I looted it. I didn't know if I actually picked up the empty chest itself, so that's good. But, uh, it looks like there's another empty area over here just by looking at the shadows. Wait, is it? Or am I misseeing something here? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to police up. Oh, yeah, I thought I thought there was something over here. Oh, wait, what is that green right there? Is that, is that just weird grass? I don't know. Let's break that, though. You know, it just gave us dirt right there, so nothing new right there, huh? All right, well, maybe I'll, uh... Oh, what is this? I don't know what that is. Just more dirt, or... Oh, it's clay. Oh, yeah, that's probably to make, uh, like, brick or something like that for a brick house, maybe. I don't know. Seems like we haven't really run into anything right there, though, so that sucks. But yeah, well, maybe I'll go back. Oh, yeah, I guess I have to break that stone then, huh? Yeah, I'll go back over here to where we were originally. Oh, there's a slime that spawned over here, I guess. Yeah, I guess I just won't attack him because unless he attacks me first, of course. <laughs> but yeah, like right here, I guess uh, we'll continue extending our rope down. So we could actually just have this thing constantly uh, as like a straight line down, you know, up and down. And then I'll just go through this little area right here that we just carved out and lit up, of course. And uh, it'll be kind of like a... Oh, you can hear birds chirping, too. It'll be kind of like a landmark, and I'll be like, okay, I see this cave. We're, like, right next to a surface. That's great. Oh, and then we also have those... What are they called again? Recall potions? That teleports us back home. We have two of those. So I assume if we're in the cave here, and we're in a really dangerous area, and, you know, we're about to die. I don't know if it's instantaneous or if it has, like, a five-second cooldown or something like that. I assume we could just drink one of those things, and it teleports us back to our house or back to spawn, depending on if we actually have a house yet, I guess. Uh, anyways, let's continue placing torches, and let's place down some rope, because we haven't... Oh, whoop. Oh, I guess you just place a... Continue placing rope at the same spot, maybe, and it just continues building it down. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the rope coil, or what is the other one called? I forget. Uh, we have it right here. Yeah, rope coil. Forgot about that. Whoops. Let's place another one right there. Nice. And yeah, thus far, not seeing anything else down here, so let's continue digging down and hopefully we'll actually find some more iron. Uh, unfortunately, it is hard for me to see through the walls to see any actual iron. Especially because it's been a... Oh, wait, is that actually iron right there? I don't know. It might be. Hold on, let's get a little clue. It is! Right as I say that, I run into iron. Awesome. And there's a big vein of it. We have three iron out right now. Continue grabbing some, we might have enough to get, like, two more chests. So we'll have four in total. And I'll get that chest room that I wanted to make. Awesome. Five ores. Let's place a torch. Uh, did I place it? Oh, there you go. And, uh, continue holding on to shift so it automatically grabs the pickaxe. You know, the most efficient tool or whatever that I need to, like, interact with whatever block tile that I'm looking at. So that's really convenient. I like that. I don't think there's anything else that's a waste. That sucks. But yeah, we found some iron right there. Oh, is that more iron there? Or is that... More stone. Man, I'm like hungry for iron. 
Yeah, I think that's just more stone right there, so that sucks. All right, well, hey, we found some iron. We can't. We found what we were looking for, honestly, so can't really complain too much, I suppose, huh? And I do know you guys were saying, hey, digging down, you'll find bosses. Oh, and I think in the... Di oh, I ran out of... I guess I'll mine this one. There you go. I, oh, I should probably see if Kyle can tell me how to make rope. Like, if I give him a, uh, a craftable... Oh, look at how fast we're going. Wow! Look at that! That is crazy! We haven't had a rope, like, this long yet. Oh, God! <laughs> we haven't had a rope this long yet, so I never actually got to, uh, to traverse... I might as well uh, get rid of this real quick. To traverse, like, the rope climbingness <laughs> with such speed like that before us. So that's awesome right there. Is that a frog? That oh, was a grasshopper. <laughs> All right. Anyways, oh, uh, arrow up there. I guess maybe Kyle's doing something with that. I have no idea. Either way. Oh, man, we're at the 30-minute mark already? Hey, you know what? Knock on wood, but <laughs> thankfully you didn't die this episode, right? Sheesh. I'm like, we have pretty good armor nowadays, but you know what? We're just over the 30-minute mark. I think we have enough time, and it's, and it's daytime right now. Oh, is that the day bloom? I need to make the other... Uh, no, marigold. Okay. I need to look out. It was... It kind of looked like that, though. Oh, and I think one of you guys said... Was it this bridge I built, or was it another bridge I built? But someone said... Yes, it, there it is right there. There's the iron. Yeah! Someone said I missed some iron on the bridge that I built. Man, you guys see, I keep on referencing you guys' comments over here. <laughs> you guys are probably doubting whether or not I actually read them, so... Sheesh, that should be enough evidence that I, I can read them all the time. Especially here in Terraria, where you guys are giving me so many helpful comments and stuff. Anyways, I guess I'll cut down this tree real quick, and uh, hopefully we won't hit the 40 minute mark, because I don't make, I don't like making too many long videos, right? But I'm sure you guys enjoy them, like you always do. Either way, we have slimes coming! I wanted to make sure we could dig down fast enough to we didn't have to get attacked by the slimes, but I guess we couldn't do that, huh? There you go. Yeah, we're still doing pretty well on health. I don't think we need to worry about that. I'll, I'll continue digging down over here, though. And, uh... There we go. And we'll just kind of dirt- Oh! Okay, he jumped over us. Nice. We'll just kind of dirt our way- Oh, wait, I could just go into the water. What am I doing? Yeah, we just go into the water, no problem. I did get some comments saying, yeah, it, drowning is pretty much, like, impossible. Eh, the bubbles are going away relatively slowly. And I'd say if we need oxygen- Yeah, there you go. Just hold space so we can actually jump a little bit further and grab a little bit of oxygen. Re-up on that, make sure we don't drown. Because definitely don't want to drown, because that is the most embarrassing way to die in any game, I'd say. Is there anything? Can I place a torch? Or, uh, hold a torch while underwater? I'm kind of curious, because I wanted to light it up. No, it didn't work. <laughs> I wanted to see if that actually worked there. There might be actually a torch that works underwater. No, in this game. Oh, is I, uh... I missed an iron there, didn't I? Yep, I missed one. Nice. So we got that one, and we have some slimes that might get to us. Okay, nice, they didn't get to us there. Oh! These bear- what are they called again? Hold on. Bear claws or climbing claws? They kind of act. I don't even need rope, basically. Look at that. Oh, man, that's cool. Man, I was about to, like, basically pillar myself out with a bunch of, uh, I might as well patch that back up, honestly, so I don't fall back down that, jeez. <laughs> but I was about to, uh, pillar myself up with, like, dirt or cobble or something like that, and we just had to use the climbing claws to, to make our way back up and jump. Basically doing a double jump there. That was awesome. Definitely want to do that more here in the future if we uh, go cave exploring. I, I might not even need those rope like I was talking about. Uh, let's break these plants. That didn't give us anything. That sucks. But yeah, I kind of want to go this way. Oh, God. I kind of want to go this way, see if we can get some cacti real quick. So we can get a full matching set of armor. I do want to get a, uh, a chest piece. A uh, cactus chest piece so we can have a matching set and get like that bonus or whatever. We're, God. I keep on getting small amounts of damage from these guys. And I want to avoid hitting them because they're not supposed to actually attack or... Uh, Whatever. Oh, we found America. Okay, so we can be a health potion now, right? I just need to go back to Kyle and actually figure out what the specific... Yeah, because we need, like, what was it, a jar? We picked up, like, 17 jars or something crazy. We need a mushroom and then a marigold, and we just we just picked up one. Uh, Daybloom. Or was it... It was Daybloom. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Well, we picked him one up right there, so either way, we got it, so that's great. Yeah, I don't need this rope anymore. I might as well grab it back, right? But... I'll, I'll, I'll keep it there, just kind of like a symbolic sort of thing. I don't think I need to grab it back just yet. Either way, hopefully some cacti. I wonder if you can actually replant the cacti. It might be where you just plant down the, the base part of the cactus. There you go. Probably should have hit shift right there. Probably just plant down the base part of the cactus and it grows. Kind of like, you know, that one game. <laughs> Man, there are no more over here. And I did see some comments saying that this big pit right here is a boss, so... I'm going to be careful here, and I'm going to build a bridge. 
across this big pit right here that we saw that slime jump into there. But, yep, we do need to get to the other side if we want to grab some cacti and make that full set. Oh, there's a vulture. Or is that two of them stacked? Oh, I think it's just one. Thought it might have been two of them stacked on top of each other, but, uh, if that vulture comes over here, I will defend myself. Oh, is that a scorpion? I think it is. Okay, time to defend. Vulture, die! Oh, is he... Oh! Man, I was about to say, he didn't get a single hit on me. Well, yep, yeah, he did there in the end. Is that sand slime going to mind his own business? If I go this way, is he going to continue going? Yep, okay, okay. Whew, he's uh, minding his own business. That's great. Can you get in these cacti over here? Maybe I'll even uh, shoot the heckin' vulture with a bow and arrow. Got him! Oh! Getting him from above or from below! <laughs> there we go, we got him, nice. I don't know if we took any damage from him, so that's great. Either way, we have uh, four cat, five cacti over here, I think. Yep, there's another one right there. Six cacti, actually. Golly, there's a lot of them. That that sand slime's heading over here, but you know what? I think we have enough. Oh, the sun, yeah, the sun is actually getting close to the right side of the screen, so I think it's about to turn to nighttime here pretty soon, you guys. Either way, let's uh try and take care of this vulture. We do have fire arrows somewhere, though. I think we need to equip them in our uh, weapons. Or, yeah, the ammo, I think we have to put it at the top to actually equip it. Yep, so there you go. So that's awesome. So let's actually uh, fire them at. Pun intended. Oh man, I missed. Fire him at this vulture. Oh, we just picked it back up there. Nice. Oh, and he's taking damage over time. One, 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 one. Oh, and he died right there in midair. Awesome. Great. I forgot. Oh, yep. We can pick that one up right there. That's great. Vulture there. Oh, wait. No, that's a, uh, another ant line. So there you go. We got that one down. Yeah, one of our uh, fire arrows right there just turned back into a, a regular arrow. So I guess there is a chance of you getting your arrows back. Probably wasting them on the ant line because he's just standing still, you know, but. Or something like a vulture, I'd say the fire arrows make sense. So there you go. That way, while they're flying around and being evasive, you can still shoot at them and, you know, deal damage. And let's avoid the slime. It's about to turn to nighttime, though, so he's going to actually become accurate here very soon. There's a regular green slime. I kind of want to take care of it, though, just because it's in the way. <laughs> and let's just head back home and head off the episode, you guys. As the, uh, the video is nearing the 40-minute mark. And like I said earlier, I don't want to make a, a super long video, so let's definitely end it off here very soon. I picked up a strange plant right there. I was kind of curious about that, and I just picked up a strange plant, it said, so, okay. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah, don't we have that one potion? But, uh, yeah, I don't want to waste it. You know, that one potion that, like, teleports you back home or whatever. We can just walk back home in, like, a minute or something like that, especially off camera. I just cut out the video, but, yeah, I don't want to waste it. Whatever, we're not, like, in danger or anything like that, you know? Oh, there's another one of these strange plants, right? Yeah, strange plant. I wonder what that's actually about. Can be placed, can be traded for rare dyes. Ooh, that's going to be cool. Either way, I'd say today was a very, very successful episode. We expanded our base out. We went mining, found another chest. Let's actually place that down. And maybe we'll use that chest to actually empty our inventory. And then next episode, we'll come back with our softcore character and basically transfer all of stuff in. Oh, yeah, before we do that, though, and before I forget, let's go make, let's do this so we can actually see it. There it is right there. Cactus breastplate. And where'd it go? Oh, did I? Oh, it just teleported or uh, skipped it right there. So let's right click it and auto equip. So we're at 10 defense right now. If I take that off and put the wood on, we're at 8. So yeah, okay. Oh, wait, no, that's just 2 defense. That's 1 defense. Okay, so I guess you get a bonus piece of defense then, huh? Yep, set bonus, 1 defense. Awesome. Okay, so we're at 10 defense right now. Of course, 4 from the warding shackle. We have the cool climbing claws now. A lot of really cool stuff went down this episode, you guys. I'm having so much fun with Terraria, you guys. Man, I can't wait until I can record next episode. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. Because next time we're going to be potentially going, I guess, maybe go cave exploring a little bit more to see what other cool stuff we could find. Maybe we'll explore more on the overworld, actually. How did I do that that one time? Open up the map. Yeah, look at Oh, and you could even start seeing the, the caves and stuff underground, too. Yeah, look at that. Looks like... Oh, silver? So why was I able to see that? Oh, it might be because my game is zoomed in so much that the normal zoom was able to see that, but I wasn't able to see it. Okay. Well, it looks like we found Crimson Altar. We found something down there, you guys. We need to go adventuring next episode and figure out what this is down here. There's silver, there's crimson altar. I really want to find out what that is. There's our uh, mining shop right there with the rope, which we found out we didn't really actually need, right? But there's something going on down there, and I guess uh, we'll find out what's actually happening down there next episode. 
But uh, I think I was already doing the outro, so thank you guys all very much for watching. You guys already know the deal. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Feel free to continue leaving tips in the comments down below as well. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Terraria. Oh, bye there. Oh.